So here we have with us industry specialist Mr. Prasad Patel from SR. So Mr. Patel, in your business, had you ever thought of availing complete managed services? Uh, typically, if you look at SR, we have our own in-house resources. So a complete set of uh, managed resources is not something that we've looked at. But we're sure that going ahead as we proceed towards a, a cloud-based model, that will be something which we'll look for. Uh, but that will be a slow progression from what we have in-house today. And then gradually as we adopt cloud, we'll go step by step, probably with the infra first and then to a full-scale uh, managed services model. What do you think about security in cloud? Uh, if you look at cloud, uh, there's no doubt that security services offered by cloud service providers is much better when it comes to in-house or on-premise security that we would have. But uh, there are other factors that are there with regards to security, typically lawful interception, ability to encrypt the data on premise before it hits the cloud. I think these are the uh, uh, points that we would have to be first addressed before we actually get on to a, a debate on to whether the cloud security service provider is good or on premise uh, model is better. What are the standards that you're looking for or expecting in cloud? Uh, if you look at cloud services uh, offering today, uh, most of the cloud service providers are pretty proprietary in nature, uh, with them having built around solutions which are uh, specific to their needs uh, for their revenue models. Uh, there are a lot of standards that have to be worked on. I think there are today organizations that have been put in place like the Cloud Alliance which are trying to put standards in place. We've heard about EU asking cloud service providers to work on standards for licensing which is pretty complex and uh, I think there are few other requirements uh, like the ability for the customer to switch uh, between cloud service providers, uh, the ability to have integration done between cloud service providers and the ability, the most uh, important one, the ability to walk away from the cloud service providers, these are things that would uh, definitely need uh, a look at in future. Please share your observations and difference between earlier infrastructure and ESDSs and light solution. I think uh, one of the most uh, important aspect or the USPs that Enlight offers is the uh, vertical uh, auto scaling. Um, requirements where uh, the customer is well protected in a cloud model uh, with the ability to pay as he consumes vis-a-vis -vis pay uh, as an allocation that's already been done. Um, it's rather uh, disruptive to the cloud model today. Uh, with I think many people is going to adopt that specifically. I, I'm sure it's not going to address all requirements because there are uh, requirements uh, such as the uh, legacy systems where the vertical scaling is limited to some extent but Enlight uh, is able to address uh, quite a bit of requirements for today's consumers and it's going to do well for uh, those consumers. Thank you. Thank you.